After years of cyber attacks and espionage, China believed it had secured the blueprints to America's most advanced fighter jet, the F-22. But what they obtained was outdated. In a surprising move, the U.S. has now unveiled a next-generation air dominance fighter. Not just an upgrade of the F-22, but a complete leap forward. With unmatched stealth, high speed, and advanced battlefield awareness, this aircraft is set to enter service by 2030 and redefine air superiority. So how powerful is it, and why are rivals alarmed? Here's why the new F-22 replacement has America's adversaries on edge. The F-22 Raptor, a fifth-generation fighter, remains one of the most advanced jets in modern combat. Its aerodynamic shape, concealed air intakes, and radar absorbent materials make it extremely difficult to detect. One of its standout features is the APG-77 radar, capable of tracking multiple targets in all weather conditions and detecting threats up to 150 miles away. With more than 30 antennas integrated across the airframe, it can identify dangers over 250 miles away and deploy countermeasures like flares and chaff automatically. The Raptor also includes heat-detecting sensors and missile warning systems that allow it to respond without revealing its position. At its core, two powerful computers handle over 10 billion instructions per second, controlling everything from targeting systems to mission operations, acting like a flying command center, much like the RC-135. In terms of armament, the F-22 features three internal weapons bays, one large central bay, and two smaller ones on the sides, primarily for air-to-air -air missiles. However, it can be reconfigured to carry bombs, up to 2,000 pounds of air-to-surface ordnance. It also has four external hardpoints capable of carrying fuel tanks or additional missiles, though external loads reduce its stealth. Despite the F-22's cutting-edge features, China acquired sensitive data and began developing the lookalike, the J-31 their first fifth-generation stealth jet. But while China focuses on catching up, the U.S. is moving ahead with the Next Generation Air Dominance, NGD, program, which aims to go far beyond current designs. Unlike traditional fighters, NGD is being developed as a family of systems, including a central manned fighter and multiple unmanned drones known as Collaborative Combat Aircraft, CCAs. These CCAs will perform roles like air-to-air -air combat, ground attacks, and surveillance, all coordinated by the NGD pilot. The U.S. has allocated $6 billion between 2024 and 2028 for CCA development. Each drone will operate semi-independently with AI-driven software, pre-programmed with mission objectives and capable of communicating directly with its parent aircraft. This integration will provide the NGD pilot with superior awareness, more combat options, and enhanced survivability. The CCAs can carry weapons, jam enemy radar, and detect threats over a broader area than a single jet could. Their electronic warfare tools and advanced sensors will act as force multipliers, alerting the NGAD to danger and helping it avoid detection and attack. Together, the NGAD and its drones operate as a unified team, a major tactical advantage. This swarm-based approach changes the rules of engagement. Instead of facing just a single jet, enemy pilots must contend with multiple drones working in sync with the stealth aircraft that can evade, disrupt, and strike. Even if a CCA is taken down, others remain to support the mission, often resulting in a three-on-one scenario that favors the U.S. But the real challenge for adversaries is the NGAD stealth. Although many details are classified, reports suggest it will be virtually invisible across radar and thermal spectrums. The jet will use thermal cloaking to mask its heat signature, a major vulnerability in previous stealth aircraft. This technology involves redirecting engine heat using specialized materials, making it much harder to detect with infrared sensors. While not completely invisible, the NGAD's ability to manage its thermal profile means it can approach targets unseen and strike before being noticed. Combined with long-range weapon systems derived from the F-22, the NGAD, and its drone wingmen will be capable of eliminating threats before they appear on radar, changing the air combat landscape entirely. The combination of stealth, advanced weaponry, and a network of collaborative combat aircraft, CCAs, gives the NGA a powerful edge in modern warfare.
One of its most significant advantages lies in the materials used in its construction. While traditional aircraft still depend on metal, the NGA will use advanced composite materials throughout its frame, particularly ceramic matrix composites, CMCs. CMCs consist of two key parts, a reinforcement component for strength and flexibility, and a matrix that holds it all together. The NGA's innovation lies in using the same type of ceramic for both, potentially enhanced with secondary fibers for added durability. This design makes NGA CMCs distinct from both traditional ceramics and high-performance metal alloys. The result is a material that combines high temperature resistance with lightweight agility. CMCs are about a third the weight of nickel alloys, allowing the NGA to maneuver more freely and carry additional weapons without compromising speed or agility. These materials also hold their shape under extreme heat, allowing the jet to maintain structural integrity at high speeds. Their toughness, thermal shock resistance, and fracture strength make the NGA more durable and survivable in extreme conditions, giving it a clear advantage over legacy jets like the F-22. And this technology isn't limited to the NGA. GE Aviation is already exploring CMCs for the F-35, signaling a broader shift across U.S. fighter platforms and reinforcing American air superiority. But materials are just one part of the NGA superiority. Its performance will also be boosted by the Next Generation Adaptive Propulsion, NGAP system, developed in partnership with Pratt & Whitney. The XA-103 prototype has completed initial testing and is moving into ground trials. This engine will enhance fuel efficiency, allowing the NGA to fly farther and stay airborne longer than current fifth-generation fighters. It also provides better thermal management, further improving stealth. While details remain limited, John R. Sneeden, Director of Propulsion at the Air Force Life Cycle Management Center, noted that NGAP builds on technology from the Adaptive Engine Transition Program, ATP, originally intended for the F-35. Many of those advances, especially in composites and heat management, will be applied to the NGA. This will enable the aircraft to operate in contested airspace more effectively. The NGAP system will allow the NGA to achieve supercruise speeds beyond Mach 1.7, possibly reaching Mach 2, without using afterburners. This capability reduces the aircraft's heat signature, making it harder to detect while flying at supersonic speeds. Combined with improved fuel efficiency and range, this makes the NGA faster, stealthier, and more capable than its Chinese and Russian counterparts. The NGA is also expected to carry cutting-edge weapons. Among them is the Raytheon AIM-260 Joint Advanced Tactical Missile, JTM, currently under development, with a top speed of Mach 5, more than twice that of China's J-35. The JTM is designed to engage high-speed, fifth-generation enemy fighters from beyond visual range. Its 120-mile range allows the NGA to strike before being seen. Equipped with inertial guidance and active radar tracking, it ensures precise targeting even at long distances. A standout feature of the JTM is its specific design to counter threats like China's J-31. Brigadier General Anthony Genetempo, former head of the U.S. Air Force Weapons Program, noted that the missile exceeds the range of the AMROM and includes features tailored to neutralize advanced enemy aircraft. This makes it a critical asset in the NGA's arsenal enabling it to dominate the skies well before the enemy even knows it's there. In addition to the JTM missile, the NGAD will also carry Northrop Grumman's stand-in-attack weapon, CAW.